Mississippi River. So right now we're in Tennessee. You know, our boy Matty O, he says you don't, you don't eat Mexican food east of the Mississippi. So what we're about to do, we're going to cross over into Arkansas and we're going to be able to eat Mexican food again. It's going to be glorious. Chips and salsa, guacamole, enchiladas, the whole, the whole deal. If you look out over there, the Mississippi River, one of America's great natural features and geopolitical advantages in the world. The Mississippi River really made a huge difference, still does, by transferring cargo up and down the middle of the country. It's an amazing waterway that makes this great country do what it does. Oh no, we're, what? we're in Missouri? I thought we were going over into Arkansas, but we're in Missouri. I didn't even expect to come to Missouri today. So I guess we're going to Missouri and then we're dropping down to Arkansas. And you know, Armin here, Armin was born in Missouri. That's a cool factoid for all y'all. All right, now we're driving down to Jonesboro, Arkansas to compete at the Jonesboro Open at the Dish Out of Heaven. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here. Welcome to heaven, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Good to be back. Last year, this was kind of a sad event. I was doing, I was doing okay. But then my shoulder decided to do crazy stuff on hole six. And I had to withdraw from the tournament. So, knock on wood, that I'm stronger, I'm better now. Oh, looking for another good finish this week. And the course looks great. It's nice and green. Oh, it's nice and blurry. Looking forward to another good time here in J Burrow. Hey guys, check this out. I've been working on it. I've been working on my shuffle. <laughs> I've been such a bad shuffler. Shout out Aiden Sanabria. Marie, if you watch this vlog, you're gonna be very proud seeing that. I've been working on it. We just saw the Mario movie, and I'd say it was probably a light seven, but it was fun. I tee off tomorrow for the Jonesboro Open at 3.54 and Ratana is teeing off at 7.34. She has the first tee time and I have the last. Yup, all right, let's do this one more time and then we're gonna go take an Epsom salt bath to ease the pain. That was nice. Not that I would pain. It's a little clumpy and then the bridge. It was okay. It's okay, we're gonna revisit this. I'm gonna be the shuffle master every day I'm shuffling. Uh, cringe. Ooh. 6 39 waking up in the morning gotta be fresh gotta go outside gotta have coffee gotta play disc golf and i see a brad pete are you ready he's like i gotta go back in market in Jonesboro and honestly maybe a front runner or definitely a top five market I've been to in the country got some good food here <laughs> hey to recap 
day one of the Jonesboro Open, it was perfect conditions. Like, there was zero wind. It was still... And I can't remember the last time I played a tournament in as good as conditions as yesterday. The temperature was perfect. A lot of fun to be on the course. You could do whatever you want with your discs. Uh, it just felt great. Um, tied with Calvin, 13 under. Continuing to have that focus that I seem to have found at the Champions Cup. The only thing I can think of is that I switched out my bag a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But also, I've been taping my finger, which makes me feel like I'm playing better, which is really weird. But I don't know. Taping my finger has been good. I used to have, like, split fingers. Um, I used to have, like, a cut on my finger that always pop open, but I haven't been having that. So that's been really, really nice. All right. I'm waiting for Rattan. It's been raining all morning. I wanted to go watch her, but... The parking lot that was close to the course was closed, so it would have been very hard to get over there. So I'm gonna go pick her up and we're gonna go eat some food. Uh, uh. Uh. First two days were absolutely perfect. Now it is blowing crazy. It's gonna be a very interesting round. Gotta focus. everybody it is Tuesday when I'm filming this and I drove 14 hours back home I drove seven of it after the tournament left Jonesboro at 8 and uh, drove to like 4 in the morning just to clear my mind it was a heck of a tournament I played very well rounds one and two and then I cannot say I played very well the final round we had the final round shakiness in full effect but I gave myself an opportunity at the end and it just did not go my way and uh, just that's the way it goes but of course I'm disappointed of course I wanted to win and of course I could drive myself crazy about it but I'm gonna look at the positives look at the fact that I am on the up and up two second places back to back and moving into the West Coast Swing, which 
I'm very excited to go play. So I'm gonna keep focus, keep the intensity, and uh, I believe that there's gonna be great results. Huge shout out to the Sanchez family this past week for hooking it up with an amazing place to stay. They're an amazing family and uh, can't thank them enough for the awesome week. Thank you to Ritana for caddying. And uh, yes, got a little, tiny bit of time before heading out to California for the West Coast Swing. Thanks for watching guys. And until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace.